Welcome to the Getting to Know Jesus Weekly Devotion. I'm Glenn Koppel, Minister of the Word. This week's thought comes from Lesson 24, which is found in Getting to Know Jesus, Volume 2. To follow along in your Bible, our scripture text is found in Luke chapter 4, verses 16 through 30. He went to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and on the Sabbath day, he went into the synagogue, as was his custom, and he stood up to read. The scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed him. Unrolling it, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners, and recovery for the sight of the blind, to release the oppressed, and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Jesus wanted to reach the people, even in his own country, with the gospel of good news, of eternal life. He always looked forward to telling others about the freedom from sin and how they could have the Father's approval. Here's what I see in this passage today. Freedom, worship of God, is important. I'm standing out here in front of a, a church on a mock stage set, but I thought it would be a good place to just reflect that being in God's house on the Lord's day or every opportunity that you reasonably can. I mean, obviously we've got to work and we've got to do other things besides being God's house all the time. But worshiping together with Christian friends on a regular basis is a very important part of our life. And so I thought I would come here and, and uh, take this video in here in front of this church setting. Jesus considered worship very important also. All through his life, he grew up, he went to the, was always in the synagogue on the Sabbath day to worship the Father that he loved so much and to proclaim his love for God. Why do you go to church? Do you go to church to put on a show or do you go to church to say, well, I've done my religious duty for the week? Do you, you go to church maybe to hear a good sermon or, or maybe listen to the cool band, you know, play some cool music? Or do you go to church because you love God and you love Jesus and you want to worship Him with your heart and soul and mind and spirit? If you're in church because you worship God, it doesn't matter if it's a bunch of hypocrites in there. You're there because you worship God, not because so-and-so is doing this or, or somebody else is doing that. You know the best place for hypocrites in church on the Lord's Day. But you know, it's also important to, to me to tell you about Jesus. He is the solution that, to all that is wrong in our world today. All of the problems that we're having, all the stuff that we're wondering, why do we have so much sexual immorality? Why do we have a nation which everybody that I've talked to, I haven't found one person yet that I've talked to that doesn't agree that our nation is where it is today and not where it used to be because we've gotten away from following the gospel. We've gotten away from following Jesus Christ. Our nation's slide into darkness can only be stopped by churches. That means you and me, you and I are the church. By us telling people about Jesus and his life and teachings. Jesus is our only source of eternal hope. He frees us from the guilt of our continuing sin. And so why wouldn't we want to know him more? Why wouldn't we want to love him more? Because of the hope that he gives us, the freedom from those things of our past that we have done that Jesus frees us from. Jesus is the only way to gain God's favor. We all want our Father's approval more than anything else. And I'm, I'm trying to stress this to young couples that I see. The thing that they need to teach their children most is obedience, but the thing that child wants more than anything is daddy's approval. Young men need daddy to see, help them see how to grow up to be men. Young girls want their daddy's approval so they will make right choices when they go looking for a husband. They're not thinking about it that way, but that's a lot of what it's about. You know, whether you got your father's approval or not, you can have your heavenly father's approval. By studying the life and teachings of Jesus, by building your love for Jesus and just realizing that God loves you so much that he wants you to follow him. It's my love for Jesus and, 
my desire to share that love with you is the reason I wrote the Getting to Know Jesus Bible Study Series. This is an entire study of every event in the life of Jesus so that we can worship Him from our heart and soul and mind and spirit. Let's go through every event from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John because He has anointed me to preach the good news. I'm not Jesus by any means, but I've been called along with your minister and your church and, and missionaries and others who are serving God in full-time Christian service to proclaim the good news. The gospel literally means good news. What greater news could there be than that Jesus came and died on the cross for your sins and mine? He has sent us to proclaim freedom for prisoners, recovery of sight for the blind, to release the oppressed, and to proclaim the Lord's favor. Getting to know Jesus is a Bible study that will help you see everything that Jesus taught and did and will build a, such a rich relationship in you with Him. It will change your life and you will become a proclaimer of the good news you want to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with your friends and your neighbors. You want to help turn other people that you know back to following Christ. And that is the solution to our nation's problem. And that is the passion I want to put in you as you're watching these Getting to Know Jesus videos every week. We don't cover the entire lesson. If you want the full Getting to Know Jesus lesson, you need to get the books, get your friends together and say, let's read through this lesson. And if you want to, you can watch this little video clip. They're saved on YouTube. They're saved on Tangle. And, and the current weekly video is always available on my website, www.gettingtoknowjesus.org. Oh, I encourage you to get your friends together today. Start your Getting to Know Jesus group. You could be like Jesus, being anointed to preach the good news to those who are spiritually oppressed. Free them from their sin. Help them to give the victory, the power to say no to temptation and yes to Jesus Christ and let Him change their lives like He's changed your life. These lessons are taken from the Getting to Know Jesus Bible Study series and are supported by your gifts. By partnering with us in the financial needs of this ministry, you are participating in fulfilling the Great Commission, taking the gospel to the whole world by internet technology. To send a tax-deductible gift, please make your check out to New Hope Gospel Ministries and mail it to 6910 Scenic Hills Boulevard in Lakeland, Florida. You can also go to www.gettingtoknowjesus.org and donate online or order your Getting to Know Jesus books for your own Bible study of every event in the life and teachings of Jesus Christ. Thank you for partnering with us as we fulfill the Great Commission. God bless you and have a great week.